A new legal fight is brewing over the site of one of New Jersey's most notorious environmental crimes. This week, the state finalized a settlement with the chemical company responsible for polluting groundwater in Toms River at the site of the former Seba Geigy chemical plant. It will compensate the state for damages to natural resources as a result of the chemical leaks and conserve the land for public use. But environmentalists and residents of the town are calling it a raw deal. Senior correspondent Brenda Flanagan reports. I'm, I'm angry. <laughs> I'm here to tell you that because we need help to, to take this to the finish line now. Residents want a better deal. For decades, folks in Tom's River have demanded justice from Sibagaigi, the chemical company that dumped 47,000 barrels of industrial waste into an unlined pit, leaching a plume of carcinogens into the groundwater. People here have endured pollution, cancer clusters, and litigation for years, the mayor says. The nightmare continues. It's been an open wound in Tom's River for 60 years. And all NJDEP has done is poured salt into that wound. Last night, he spoke at a meeting of the grassroots group Save Barnegat Bay, which rejected the DEP's recent settlement of a 2007 lawsuit over destruction of natural resources, complaining the DEP cut a deal without community input. It's just another slap in the face to all of you, all of us. And um, I'm just sick and tired of the arrogance and the dismissive attitude of, an, of a department that's supposed to be protecting us. The deal worked out between the DEP and BASF, which acquired the site in 2009, requires the company to pay a half million dollars in natural resource damages, preserve a thousand acres in perpetuity, and build and maintain nine public access projects, including a nature center and boardwalk for 20 years. It will also continue to clean up the plume of toxic groundwater that contaminated public wells. The mayor called the deal. Woefully inadequate. It obviously is a sweetheart deal for the, for the chemical company, the largest chemical company in the world. And once again, Tom's River and the Ocean County residents get the shaft. I can understand uh, their uh, dissatisfaction with elements of, of this settlement. The DEP commissioner says they came to this agreement after doing what he called the calculus of litigation risk. There may be insufficient proofs to demonstrate the extent of natural resource injury. And so I, we have to carefully balance what is provable in court. Save Barnegat Bays hired a legal team specializing in natural resource cases. They claim this deal doesn't compensate for injury to the underground aquifer and other environmental damages that the DEP is orchestrating a publicity ploy. They're trying to convince this community that what they're doing is a good thing. We're, I mean, we're clearly not buying into that story. It's, it's not surprising. It's so disheartening. Tom's River resident Joe Cotron's daughter endured cancer, a neuroblastoma. They're one of more than 60 families impacted by a cancer cluster here who reached a multi-million dollar settlement with the company, although it accepted no blame. But Cotron wants the environment made whole. Every time you think you make a breakthrough with, with the government agencies and you think they're, they're going to be on your side finally or get things done the way that they say they're going to do it, they don't. Save Barnegat Bay says they're likely headed for a court battle. I'm Brenda Flanagan, NJ Spotlight News.